how the new rules of NAR affecting real estate market, buyer, seller, or the agent. My name is Aya, real estate agent with the brokerage real estate enthusiast with you in a new video to talk about real estate. I've been seeing that a lot in social media. People talk about it, buyers worried, uh, seller confused, agent don't know what to do. It's as simple as that. So what NAR said uh, on MLS starting from July 2024, the restriction of buyer agent compensation is not going to be showing on public anymore. That's all. It did not say buyers not going to get, uh, the buyer agents not going to get compensation or not going to get paid or seller should not pay X amount or buyer should pay plenty of money. It did not say that. Um, it's just simple as there is no compensation section going to show on MLS. So the MLS, this is the big website that all agents uh, browse and put the data there. It's secure, managed by real estate licensee. We have the listing there. We search for houses and we send houses to the clients. And from this MLS, the Zillow and Realtor.com and other apps and websites, they take our pictures and data that we put on houses and they advertise for it to collect buyer and seller data and sell them. That's why you receive lots of call after your quest tour on these websites. We'll go back to this point soon. So on MLS from now and on, this section of compensation for a uh, buyer agent or um, uh, transaction coordinator, it's not going to showing. Um, so the buyer agent from now and on, he must communicate through the phone with the listing agent and ask if there are any compensation offer to him. Yes or no. So first, let's talk from the seller side. I'm a seller, want to sell house, I will hire agent, listing agent, selling agent to list my house in a market and sell it. Definitely, they will sit, have presentation about the service that they're going to do and their costs. And again, the cost that agent going to charge, it's going to be X amount or fixed rate, like X rate or X amount, and it's all negotiable and uh, should be clear up front, both agree about it and sign contract for a certain period of time about the service that this agent going to uh, provide to the seller to sell the house. From this agent compensation the listing agent like my commission my money i decide how much x amount i'll provide to the buyer agent the partner agent that's going to help me to sell the house i will offer x amount of money or x percentage so it's my shared commission that i took from uh, my commission that i took from the seller i decided what i share if there is any so and now let's go and talk about buyer me as a buyer how that's going to affect me so again everything should be clear from the beginning the buyer going to sit with the buyer agent consultation at the beginning talk about your real estate need where you want to buy how much you want to buy all these details and explain for you his service what he going to offer you how he can help you to find the house then he going to talk about his cost and fee he charged you to help you purchase this house. And this, again, going to be negotiable uh, and it could be fixed number or fixed rate. Okay, after the things happen, the purchase, you're going to provide him with this X number or X fee. And how he going to get that? Everything should be written in a contract between you and a clear up front. Um, he going to tell you that I will get paid this X number or X amount and two way only. So either I will check with the um, listing partner and see if he share any uh, kind of compensation. If this compensation match what I charge, okay, so you'll be all set. You don't have to pay me anything. Or if this house I'm seeing does not offer any amount of compensation in this case, you, my client, going to pay me for my service to you. Or if they offer me less than what I charge, you're going to make the difference. So it's as simple as that. And that's it. So everything must be written everything negotiable, everything up front explained. And this um, step, it has so many advantage. Let me go to the advantage and a few points here. So first advantage, um, 
Before that, there are some agents, not all, again, some fewer agents they use to send the buyer list of property that match only the amount of compensation they get from the deal, not only the houses that match their criteria, which is not fair. And that's why on MLS not going to show this part of compensation anymore so agent can't just go and send the houses to the buyer that match the amount of compensation they charge. Secondly, a uh, big benefit of that uh, buyer and seller going to be educated and understand from where this agent get paid, get his money, and they're going to have everything clear up front. They're going to have a contract for a period of time and for X amount of charge, and uh, they know the service that they're going to get for that time. The third benefit is so many buyer been playing games with agent. The buyer agent been exhausted in a market for several years because buyers keep cheating. They go with this agent, see five houses, then they cut, disappear. They go with that agent, see five houses and like that forever. They are not qualified and not even ready to purchase because they didn't sign anything. They didn't understand from where this agent get paid. Uh, and that's disrespectful for the agent because uh, wasting his time and his money and this is not fair so so many act like that gonna be stopping because the agent gonna be clear with you from the beginning explain to you his cost and his fee and he wants you to hire him sign a contract saying you're gonna pay this x amount of compensation or um like for my service for this period of time if i get it from the other party good if i don't get it so you have to provide me with that um, the other things about the apps and website like Realtor.com, Zillow.com, Trulia, and all these apps that show the houses. As I said, these websites and um, application are created by companies. They want to make money. So they take the data from MLS where we put the picture for house and details of the agent and a broker. They take these data, they advertise for it, and they put phone numbers. You call to schedule uh, tours. What they will do, they will sell these data. They will sell your number and email and contact to brokers agents lender whoever uh, nearby except to pay for it and then you will receive call from agent to show you the house so the people who um, meet you to show you the houses they don't pay they don't get paid salary or they don't get paid by the law they actually spend money to get your number so they hope to work with you and get deals done so be fair even this agent it's not you hit one time you go with this one show one time and then you go there showing one time it's not fair you should stop that and again if you request to one time it's gonna be forever and ever your phone gonna keep ringing and uh if you don't communicate with this agent then they are gonna send you other agents and like that forever because again this is app want to make money or this website want to make money so they keep sell your data and information over and over so the right way to do it as a buyer or as a seller find professional real estate agent from your area uh ask a friend family or uh, on a social media, you heard someone, you know he's good, you learning information from him, contact him and start to work with them. Explain everything, be fair and be honest, okay? Honest and put many lines under the word honest, okay? And uh, commit with this time and contract and get the fair service that you deserve choose someone and make consultation and then start to work with this agent if you felt not comfortable or there is something wrong or you didn't like the work of that agent also be fair and honest from the beginning and let them know and you can easily release the contract between you if uh, both agree so uh, if you have any question about real estate selling buying investing feel free to reach out to me I hope this video explained everything about NAR and the news and uh, the fees from the agents.